Okay, let's have a look at um, the the sad state of the Australian dollar. Um, so, I actually looked this up, by the way, this morning. I think it's 72.4 when I looked it up, which uh, is quite sad. Shh. Now, this was a tricky question, by the way. So, if you got to... If you got to this number down the end, then thumbs up to you. This was challenging. I'm actually going to point out another way of doing this um, later on, um, second half of this double period. Um, but let me walk you through the way that I did this question before I um, answer this. So I rounded it up. You rounded to 90? Did you round it like nearest? No, 89. I got 89. No, no, no. As in without the decimal. Oh, sorry. Wait, hold on. You mean, you mean that? How many Australian dollars? Yeah, sure. That's okay. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. That answer would be fine. Okay. Shh. Let's just come back to um, the way to approach this. All right. So the important part in this question, you can see is 72 cents for each Australian dollar. Right. So this is a question of ratios and rates. Right. I'm comparing two different things. So you can see what I've written down here. I'm literally writing the comparison between these two things. And then I'm trying to, all of these, um, all of these lines of working here, all I'm trying to do is get 10,000 over there on the right. You see where I'm aiming? That's, that's where I'm headed. And everything else is to do that. So what have I done um, from, let's just get this out of the way. What have I done from the first line to the second line? What's the difference? I've converted the right-hand side, the US currency, into dollars. Why would I do that? Same yeah, okay, so number one, I've got the same units on both sides, kind of, dollars. But actually, more importantly, it's because I want to get to this number, which is in dollars. They didn't say, well, what is that in cents anyway? That would be a million cents? They didn't say, give it to me in cents. But the 72 US cents, it's in a different unit. So that's why I convert. Okay, now what have I done? What, what's this about? Why did I choose to multiply by that? I want to get to 10,000, right? That's what I want to receive back. So in order to turn 0 0.72 into 10,000, I'm going to multiply by 10,000. That's the number I want. And then I divide by 0 0.72, okay? You can see I would get, uh, let's get a new color here. I'm going to go cancel, cancel, and that's what gives me the 10,000 that I've got on my final line. Do you see that? So this was challenging. Um, all I have to do on the left-hand side is just punch that into my calculator. And if you did round up, I, I think that's fair because it did say how many dollars. Um, though generally speaking, if you don't get given any accuracy for a money question, obviously you're going to go to cents. And you certainly wouldn't go further than that. Okay. So like I said, we will come back to this question later on uh, in this double. Let's have a look at the last one. Now you guys see, I, I always kind of put more working than you probably need. Uh, here's my answer down here. Uh, the larger part I've got is 40,000. Okay. Now, how did we logic this out? There's an important idea here, right? If you're dividing four to five, right? Four to five. And I literally try and picture this, okay? One of, them get, one of the people gets four parts, and the other person gets five parts. So if I add up all those parts, there are nine of them, right? And they're all supposed to be equal, yeah? So if there are nine parts, then that's where I get. Each one of those little pieces has to be $8,000, okay? So clearly you don't have to draw a diagram like this, but I hope you can see what I've done. It's like, okay, you slice it up, and then this guy gets four of them, and this one gets five. That's what four to five means. So that's where this number, five times 8,000, comes from. There are five of these parts, and each one of the smaller bits is that size. Question. Um, in the exercise that you gave for homework, there was a, like a, a three ratio. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. How do you do that? That's a great question. Okay, well, why don't we do it right now? Okay, so maybe you want to turn over. Uh, turn over, and let's take that same um, amount. Let's do this right now. It's a great question, I'm so glad you asked. What if I want to split this up among more people in different ways? So I'm just going to, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I'm just going to pick this number because it's convenient, all right? Let's think about this. Suppose I want to divide this up into, ooh, let's think of a number off the top of my head. Let's go one to two to seven. So here's the question. I'm just making this up because it was, there was something in the exercise that was similar. So suppose I have uh, three people 
who I want to divide this up between. And this is the ratio, right? Now, even though it looks a bit weird, and this is where it's like, okay, ratios are a little bit different to fractions. They're similar, but they're not exactly the same thing. That's why we treat them as a new kind of idea. Yes? Yeah, you can. Go ahead. If I want to divide to more than two people, and I'm going to use this ratio, how do I go about this? Now, this is what's great about this logic that I used before. If I think, just like I did here, right? Four to five means that this person gets four parts, this person gets five parts, or lot, I'm gonna have nine parts in total, yeah? Four and five. When you have a look down here in this scenario, uh, how many parts are there going to be in total? And the answer is 10, right? Um, one plus two plus seven, that's 10 in total, okay? So imagine 10 little pockets of money. They're all supposed to be equal, so each, uh, I'm going to call them each part, um, each one of these 10 parts will be, well, how big will each chunk be? $720, right? Uh, where that comes from is, is $72,000 divided by 10, right? That's, that's how many times I'm splitting it up, okay? So now that I know how big each parcel is, how big each component is, I just make sure one of them gets one. What are these two? Uh, 72. Oh, yeah, sorry, I beg your pardon. I was dividing by 100. Okay, so 7,200. The first person gets one of them. The second person will get two. And the last person will get seven of them, right? So I guess I'd say, um, the I'm, I'm literally going to write that. The first person receives um, one lot of the part, right? Um, these are relatively easy numbers, so I can say the second person... And so that I, I make it clear where this is coming from, right? I'm going to say two lots of that 7,200, which I think we can... Come on, we can do this in our heads, right? Like one, four, four, very good. And two zeros. Um, seven times, okay, I don't know what that is, but let's be a little bit cheap. Okay, so, yeah, it is cheap. Um, seven lots of... Seven lots of? The, yeah, the same. Every packet is the same size. Can someone tell me what that is? Five. Hold on, I'm getting a lot of different numbers here. Thank you. Okay, and of course, one of the lovely things about this, when you when you stop and you finish, you say, okay, well, apparently all of these together, they should comprise that $72,000 that I began with, right? If you just don't like exactly do it, but if you look like, oh, about 50, this is about 20. Yeah, I'm in the right ballpark. Thumbs up. Okay.